Good day, Kaviba, and welcome to our Speakers Demo Reel webinar series. For the demo teaching today, the topic will be on Filipino and Proud, promoting our local products and places through integration and virtual field trip. Before we begin, take note of the following reminders. We will be posting the Zoom link in the comment section before our demo teaching, and the first five participants to join the Zoom meeting will be allowed to have close interaction with our speaker during the session and have an open forum after the demo teaching. The first five participants will serve as the speakers or as the students for the speaker's demo reel and will get a copy of the speaker's pre presentation at the end of the webinar. For those who will be chosen, make sure your microphones are turned off until asked to turn on. Do you enjoy learning with Vival? Make your experience even more exciting by becoming a Vival Group fan. Exclusive perks await fan subscribers. Get access to exclusive webinars. Enjoy free teaching resources. Check out exclusive content. Get discounts on Vival products. All of these for only 55 pesos a month. Exciting, right? Subscribe as a fan now. Here's how. Visit, click, follow. First, visit Vibal Group's Facebook page. Then click Become a Supporter to purchase a monthly subscription. Lastly, follow the prompts that appear on your screen. But don't confuse this for top fan. Nah, -uh, it's a different thing. You need to follow the easy steps. Visit, click, follow. Be a Vibal Group fan and enjoy exciting perks today.
Good day again, Kaviba, and welcome to our Speakers Demo Real webinar series. For the discussion today, the topic will be on Filipino and Proud, promoting our local products and places through integration and virtual field trip. Before we begin, take note of the following reminders. Make sure you are registered to the webinar to have your e-certificate of participation. Visit certificate.vibagroup.com to generate your proof of attendance. Place your questions in the comment box allotted during the session and they will be addressed by our speaker later on. Share the video using hashtag LearnAs1PH as our official hashtag to our Vibal webinars. Experience learning! Kavibal! And now, to proceed with our webinar this afternoon, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished speaker today. Ms. Jodeline S. Alas graduated as cum laude from the Philippine Normal University with the course Bachelor of Elementary Education. She has completed her academic requirements for her Master of Arts in Educational Leadership and Management and is now enrolled in thesis writing for the same graduate study course from the same university. Help and shape by her teaching experience of two years in St. James Academy of Malabon City, she is at present serving as teacher two of La Candula Elementary School in Manila for more than three years. Ms. Alas has training certification for completing a pre-press operation for visual graphic design NC3 training course and is also functioning as the school's website administrator and co-ICT coordinator. Above everything else, she prefers calling herself a work in progress and a child of God. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our dear speaker, Ms. Jodeline S. Alas. All right. Thank you so much for that, Ma'am Julian. Allow me to start po by taking this chance to give thanks once again to Vival Group for this another chance, another blessing to share and serve. Now allow me to just present my screen for us to be able to continue. Okay, so to our school's dear principal, Dr. Miriam Bicolantes, and to my ever-supportive LDS family, thank you so much. And of course, to all of you here, my co-educators, mga kabibal, good afternoon and happy Friday. I hope for that you learned something today as we try to promote our local products and places through integration and virtual filters. Now, whenever I begin a demo reel, I always ask the participants some questions. This time, I will ask you questions as well. I will not be able to hear all of your answers, of course, but on your own, silently, please reflect and answer this honestly. Teachers, how are you? How's your August? Some of us may be spending the August for vacation, the others for Brigada Escuela, and for those teachers who started their school year earlier, maybe they are already in the first quarter of their classes. So whatever it is that makes your August busy, well, I want to remind you that you need to be healthy teachers. This is the only way we will be able to serve effectively for our learners, our schools, our community, and our country. Okay, so to give you an idea of what will happen for this demo reel, please look at these reminders. Teachers, we will begin this demo reel by me introducing to you the integration of the promotion of our local products and places. Then we will have a little discussion about virtual field trips. Okay, then most of the time of our demo reel will be spent for our demonstration. After the demonstration, we will allocate some time for some discussion and reminders after. Teachers, I want to emphasize that everything that will be shared today uh, are based on my own experiences and of course, 
from the knowledge and inspiration from different sources. Therefore, let me present to you teachers my references for today's demo reel. So gratitude for all these authors and great works which allowed me to prepare and make possible this demo reel. There you go. I will also take this chance to give thanks to the two professors I consulted while preparing for this demo reel. So gratitude to Dr. Jerry Areta and Dr. Corinne. Uh, they patiently answered my question while preparing. So thank you so much for that. Okay, here are my other references. Again, no copyright infringement intended. With that, let us start. Okay, so teachers, I'm sure you know that our country is home to invaluable natural resources, products, places, and great individuals that we and our learners may support, respect, and know about. And that is the very motivation why I am talking to you today about promoting our local products and places. Well, the idea of promoting our local products and places, promoting our country, is already in our curriculum. In fact, if you will look at the DepEd's new most essential learning competencies, for more specifically for grade four, for the subject of ESP, you can find a consent content standard that is like this. Na ipamamalas ang pag-unawa sa pagmamahal sa bansa sa pamamagitan ng pagpapahalaga sa kultura. And then under that, we have a map that is like this. Na ipagmamalaki na pahahalagahan ang nasuring kultura ng iba't ibang pangkat etniko tulad ng kwentong bayan, patutubong sayaw, awit, laro, at iba pa. Now, why are these two related to our topic today? It's because products such as food, clothes, and others, and historical and tourism places are all part of the culture. Another proof. In the Deaf at New Mouth for Grade 2 for AP, there are competencies that says, na ihahambing ang katangian ng sariling komunidad sa iba pang komunidad tulad ng likas na yaman, produkto at hanap buhay, kaugalian ng mga pagdiriwang. Related to our topic, right? Another one. Nabibigyang halaga ang pagkakakilanlang kultural ng komunidad. See? So the idea of promoting our local products, our places, our country, is already in the curriculum. Now, does it mean that only ESP and AP teachers may encourage the promotion of our local products and places? Does it mean like that, teachers? No. Okay. We teachers in our own little humble ways may find ways, okay, to promote our local products, our places, our country. And we have legal basis for that. Let me show you some there, our very own constitution. Okay, second part of section three of the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines, Article 14, it says, all educational institutions shall inculcate patriotism and nationalism, foster love of humanity. Okay, another one, Republic Act number 9155, we also call this the Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001. It has purposes and objectives that include to make schools and learning centers the most important vehicle for the teaching and learning of national values and developing in the Filipino learners, love of country, and look at this one, pride in its rich heritage. So we have basis. Okay, our very own Deaf Ed Vision says, we dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country. Well, you may say, love for country may be shown in different ways. Yes, it can be correctly shown in different ways. And I encountered this article saying, it can actually be something very personal. 
And that is true. We have our different ways of showing our love for country and promoting our local products, our places can be one of those. Okay. In fact, in the same article, how do we love the Philippines? It says one way to show your love is by studying and appreciating its cultural archives. I want to read this one, the, the statement of Marco Lobregat, Synergy Media Specialist. His statements were cited in the article of M. Romulo. He, is, uh, he said, be conscious of your environment and help lift everyone around you when you can. Love your home, love your people, and celebrate the culture that bonds you together as a niche. Now, other reasons, teachers, it is important to include culture in schools, right? Because it gives new flavor to our lesson and it uplifts students' interest. Aside from that, it helps students embrace diversity. They appreciate their own culture when you try to make them mo learn more about this. They appreciate their culture, their heritage, all the while respecting and appreciating other cultures and others' heritage. I think we are all, we will all agree with this, that supporting and buying our local products okay, will be very important. These help support the local industry, generate jobs, open opportunities for our people. So do we need more recent teacher? I can give you more. Okay, this statement from a journal article, Integrating Local Culture to Promote Character Education in Teaching Writing. It says, there that teachers use culture in teaching because teachers are aware of the importance of local culture so that the students should not forget and be proud of their own culture. Now, finally, and personally, my reason for talking about this to you is because I'm a Filipino. And I have this desire to find ways to promote our identity, to promote our rich culture, okay, to promote our places and products. And I also believe in the importance of embracing diversity. I think and I believe that if we will allow our learners share something about themselves, then we will have an idea of their background. We will be able to have our class open to diversity. Okay. okay, another strategy I will be presenting to you today, I'm sure many of you have already heard of this or are using this already, the virtual field trip. Teachers, virtual field trip cannot exactly replace real life experiences, no. Okay, uh, it is not a replacement for the actual field trip. It is not a replacement for the the real life experience uh, the real life interaction and communication with our learners you know but they can offer inspiring and intriguing experiences with virtual field trip teachers your learners will explore new spaces okay they will view new spaces that will stimulate the curiosity in them so that's how useful virtual field trip can be Okay, since the plan for this demo reel is to promote places, then this is appropriate because virtual field trip is helpful for holding study tour. Okay. Before going to the demonstration part of our demo reel today, let me give you a reminder uh, before the demo. Teachers, we will skip po, uh, some part of the routine such as creative attendance, there health report, drill, and review. They are all very important parts of, of our lesson, of our classes. But just for now, we will skip them for us to be able to give more attention to the main concern of our demo reel and to have enough time later at the end for discussions and reminders. Okay, let us now go to the demo proper, the demonstration part of today's learning hour. So for our demo proper, the teacher participants in the Zoom, are you there teachers? In the Zoom conference will be my learners today. 
Okay, I think they are there here with me already. Ayan. And then, may I request you to please participate actively and really just for today, allow me to consider you like my real students because that will set us in the mood and will allow us to accomplish our target for the day. So teacher participants here in the Zoom conference, may you please give me one if you're ready. One for ready, please. Let me see if they are ready. One for ready, teachers. There. Ellie are, uh, is ready. Madeline, who else? How about the others? Are you ready for the demonstration part of today as well? Let me just, I'm just, uh, those who are uh, watching via YouTube, I'm just checking on uh, the responses of my teacher participants here. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for being ready. Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, my dear learners. Let us start our moments of learning by having a game. Okay, so for our game, first game for today, we will call this, thank you for greeting me back. We will call this, what's that? Okay, so for this, what's that activity, all you have to do is, Name the object in the picture to be presented through gradual zooming in, okay? Type your answer as fast as you can and then wait for the teacher to say go before sending your answer, okay? So I will be showing a picture, but this will be gradually zoomed in. And then you will type your answer uh, by saying the, typing the name of the object to be presented. Okay, let's begin. I will create a line here. In our Zoom conference chat box for me to easily see who will answer first. Let's start. Ready? Go. What's that? Type your answer. Who answers yet? Okay, there you go. All right, the first one to give the answer in the chat box is Madeline. Madeline, may I request you to open your, turn on your microphone and tell me your answer so that everyone here will be able to know what you type there. What's your answer, Madeline? Teacher, my answer is halo halo. Wow, very good. Thank you, Anak. That's correct. This one is... Halo, halo. Children, have you tried halo, halo? Yes. Okay. Did you like it? Okay. So, children, yes, they like it. Thank you so much for your answers. Now, children, I want you to look closely at this halo, halo. Look closely to it. And then let's find out. What should be the ingredient, okay, that we need to place in that glass for us to be able to have a delicious halo halo? May you please type one if you know the answer so I can call you. What are the ingredients of this halo halo? that make it uh, halo halo. Oh, very good. They are typing the answers. Ube, very good. Gulaman, sago, what else? Syrup, good job. Milk. Beans, thank you. Ellie, may you please open your microphone? I want to hear your answer. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your answer, Ellie? In Halo Halo or Ube. Wow. Ice cream. Pinipi. Yeah. Saging. Mm. Gulaman. Sago. Beans. And of course, milk, ma'am. Wow, thank you, Ellie. You're very knowledgeable in terms of halo halos ingredients. Good job, Anak. I'll be giving you two points for that. Thank you. Yes, your answers are correct. We have different ingredients for halo halo, such as ube halaya. You mentioned this, right? Let's your plan. Alangka, I saw this among your answers earlier. Ayan, nata, nata de coco. Akaong, coconut, right? 
Yes, crush eyes. Very good. Thank you, children. Good job. Now, once you already have the ingredients of your halo halo, what do you need to do with this ingredient for you to be able to create a tasty, ready to be eaten halo halo? What do you need to do with the ingredients, children? Very good. Uh, I, let me just read this one, okay? They just typing their answers quickly, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, you proud niya. Good job, anak. Paghalu-haluin. Ellie said, mix. Very good. Thank you, children. We're on the right path, children. Thank you so much. That's correct. The reason why I showed you this halo-halo and the ingredients because this is actually an example of our topic for the day. Halo-halo, children, is an example of mixture. Okay, later you will know more about the mixture, but for now, I want someone to type one and read the objectives of our activities today for us to know more about mixture. Type one, please, if you want to share and read for the class. Anyone? Just read, you just need to read. Okay, yes, Madeline, please read for us, Anna. Today we will, today we will describe the appearance of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Very good. Teacher, ako din po sa two. Yes. Number two, classify mixture in the community as two homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. And three, Communicate ways of showing support for local products and places. Wow, nice reading, Madeline. I'll be giving you two points for that. Good job, Anak. Thank you so much. May we be able to achieve our target today. And to achieve that, we will be needing the help of my friend. Say hi to my friend, children. This is Pe. Okay, a friend of mine. And Pe will help us with our different activities today. Just like our first activity, Search for truth. Okay. For our first activity, children, <laughs> thank you for saying hi to Pen. For our first activity, all you have to do is to use the learning, okay, you have out of your reading materials given yesterday. If you can still remember, children, yesterday during our asynchronous time, I gave you a reading material about mixture. Using what you learned from that, you need to find the truth out of these three statements, okay? Let me read them for you and then type one if you're ready to tell us which of these three is the truth. Let's start. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Next, mixture is a substance made up of combining substance only with water. And then third one, mixture is made up of a single matter. Which is the truth? Read carefully and tell me the truth. Okay, Amiela, which is the truth here, Anna? Amiela? You may open your microphone. The truth Amiela. is the mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Wow, thank you. Very good. Let's see. Okay, of course, that's correct. Two points for you, Amiela. The truth here is the first statement. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Remember that these uh, substances are combined, not chemically. So let's get to know more about mixture by looking at this example. Okay, are you familiar with this, children? This is ensaladang manga. Uh, have you, have you uh, tasted this already? Have you experienced eating this already? Okay, yes, wow, well, very good. This is an example of mixture. You combine substances such as mango, onions. Okay, thank you, very good. What about this one? Sago gulaman. Have you tried this? Yes, too, that's correct. This is a mixture as well. Okay, now let me give you more uh, items to identify. Tell me if this is mixture or not. Let's do it fast, okay? All you have to do is to type mixture or not mixture in the chat box. Let's begin. First one. Mixture or not mixture? Go. 
Mixture or not mixture? Just type your answer in the chat box. Mixture or not mixture? Okay, okay. Very good. Good job. It's a mixture. Thank you. Let's have another one. This one. Mixture or not mixture? Okay. They are answering very fast. Good job. Correct, children. This is a mixture. Okay. Next one. Mixture or not mixture? Go. Okay, very good mixture as well. Thank you, children. Now, before continuing this challenge, I want you to look at these two mixtures we identified. Okay, I have here two mixtures. You said they are both mixtures, right? Now, look at them and tell me, can you observe something different between the two? If you can, type one and tell me your answer. Can you observe something different between them? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Type one. Okay, Euphronia, may you please tell me what's the difference between these two? Okay, for the first one, it is a mixture of corn, arena, and to uh, form what we call this one. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the name of that desert. Well, the second one, where is it is a mixture there is being used as a process wherein you mix the sugar with the water with a coffee using a spoon, you mix it. That's okay. the way I, I want to express it here okay. thank you uh, for your for your question and number on the first picture that's maha blanca anak yes and that's correct you for, their just flour. forget it it's very very masarap yes that's true it's masarap thank you anak thank you so much i'll be giving you three points welcome mom okay you really explained to me what are mixed there no what are the substances we mix there thank you nak let's have ellie ellie have you observed something different between the two? Go, oh, Ellie. Um, in... Hello, ma'am. Hello. In Maha Blanca, I think uh, it is a mixture, but the ingredients did not dissolve, just mm. like the corn. Unlike uh -huh. in the coffee, uh, the ingredients in the coffee, the sugar, the, the coffee itself, dissolved, ma'am. Yun po yung aking naiigit. Good job. Nice one, Ellie. Okay, thank you so much, Anna. Three points for you. Thank you. That's correct. If you will look at the first picture, you can still easily see the ingredients. You can still easily see the components you mix together, right? Because they are not evenly distributed. You can still easily find them. I can see the corn. Okay, I can separate it, separate it easily from the from the outcome of of the cornstarch, milk, and sugar, right? For the other one, it dissolved already, according to Ellie. That's correct. And if you will look at it, you cannot easily find the components you mix. You cannot find the sugar anymore there because they are evenly distributed. Okay, so children, they are both mixture, but they have different appearances. And if you did read the materials I sent to you yesterday, you will be able to tell me what we call this first picture, where you can still easily identify the different components because they are not easily dis uh, evenly distributed. I have here jumbled letters for you to arrange so you can tell me what is this type of mixture. Type one, if you know the answer and you want to share it to the class. Jean Alaika, Jean, please. Good afternoon, ma. My answer is heterogeneous. Very good. Okay, that's correct, Jean. Two points for you, heterogeneous mixture. Okay, remember, children, here are your clue words. Not evenly distributed. The components are not evenly distributed. You can easily identify, distinguish the different components. Okay, those will be your clue words for heterogeneous mixture. 
another one. What about this? Uh, according to Ellie, dissolve coffee and sugar in the water. What do we call this mixture, please? I have here the jumbled letters for you to arrange. Type one. Euphronia. The word is homogeneous. Very good. Thank you. Two points for you as well. Homogeneous. And look at the clue word for this. You cannot easily see or identify the different components because they are evenly distributed. Children, in our next lesson, you will be able to know more specific types of mixture. But for now, please focus on their appearances and these two main types. I need you to really understand. Okay? All right. Let's continue with our activity earlier. I have here one last item to classify. I have here another item to classify. Is this one mixture or not? Ready? Go. Type your answer. Mixture or not? Type your answer, children. All right. Thank you. What about the others? Okay. Good job. Very good, children. It is a mixture. Okay. Using our discussion, what type of mixture is this? Homogeneous or heterogeneous one? Type one, if you want to share the answer so I can hear you. I would like to hear your voices, children. Okay, Nursita. Nursita, uh, may you please open your microphone, Anak, and tell me what type of mixture is this? Your answer is correct. Heterogeneous, po. Very good. It's a heterogeneous mixture. Thank you, Anna. Now, Fe was very excited to show you this picture and for you to classify this. Because for Fe, this is not just a simple heterogeneous mixture. Children, what food it is that we classified as heterogeneous mixture? What food is this? Hmm, anyone? Pancit? Very good. But for Fe, this is not your ordinary pancit. For Fe, this is a helpful pancit. This is called pancit batil patung. Okay, are you familiar with that? Pancit batil patung. Okay, today you will learn more about pancit batil patung and other mixtures, other products by having a tour with Fe. So for today, we are very lucky to be invited by Fe in a virtual tour. But I have reminders for you children, okay? Children, in our tour, please observe the product, especially the mixture that you can find. Next one, classify them as homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. And the most important one, please enjoy. Okay, so let's have our virtual tour with Fe today. Type one, if you're ready for our simple tour. Type one, please. Okay, they are ready. Okay, thank you, children. They are now ready. Let's have a virtual tour with Fe. <coughs> My dear learners, welcome to one of the beautiful regions of the Philippines we call Cagayan Valley Region. Cagayan Valley Region, children, is composed of five beautiful provinces of Batanes, Isabela, Quirino, Nueva Vizcaya, and of course, the beautiful Cagayan province. Okay, I will stop for a moment because I think my screen is uh, going a little slower than it should be. I'm just waiting for my signal to be okay and better.
Okay, children, if my audio and video is clear, may you please give me one? I think it's, uh, it's going a little slower in my laptop. Come on, just to inform you, please give me one if my, my, my sound and video is clear and okay and not going slow. Type one, please. If it is okay. Ah, it's okay. Oh, well, let me continue. All right. So again, children, welcome to one of the beautiful regions of the Philippines we call the Cagayan Valley. One of the provinces of Cagayan Valley is the beautiful Cagayan province. Okay. For today, Fe will have our lead the tour for us in this beautiful Cagayan province. She will bring us to some of the famous natural resources of Cagayan province, such as Okay. okay, such as the famous Cagayan River. There you go. All right, so children, Cagayan River is the longest and widest river in the country. But aside from that, it is also a very helpful river. It provides irrigation to vast tracts of land and has rich source of marine life, which benefit the people living near the area. Okay, so there you go. Let us all say thank you. To Cagayan River. From the Cagayan most natural resource of the Cagayan province. All right, press that. Okay. Calo Cave is one of the most popular caves in our country. It is, best, it is the best known tourist attraction of Cagayan province. It is a seven chamber cave and part of the town's protected landscape and species. Aside from that, look at these children. It gained prominence after the scientists, the team of scientists led by Armand Salvador found fossils of new human species in the Kalo Cave. Therefore, this is not just beautiful, but very historic as well. There you go. Welcome to Kalo Cave. This is the time we will now go to the hometown of Pe. Children, welcome to Tugigarao. Okay, Tugigarao is the capital of the province of Cagayan. If you will visit Tugigarao, you will find there many beautiful places worth visiting, such as the St. Peter Metropolitan Cathedral. Okay. This was built from January 17, 1761, that old already to 1766. It was destroyed during the last year of the Second World War, but rebuilt, rebuilt during uh, 1945 until 1967. So thank you for this being rebuilt again, for we can enjoy the beautiful St. Peter Metropolitan Cathedral. Okay, so Tugigarao City Children is not only home for beautiful places. This is also home for different useful products. Okay, the country itself, as you can see, is rich in natural resources. Okay, I think I will stop for a while because 
according to one of my students here, my internet connection is not doing okay. Am I correct? Or is it better now? Okay, me, please type one if I may continue with the tour. Oh, yes, that's so sad. Okay, sorry to hear that. Anyway, there's still some part of the of the tour anyway. Okay, so let me continue with it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, children. So as I said, um, Kage Tugigarao is not just a beautiful place. It's all, it also offers many meaningful and useful products. Actually, you can buy their, their famous for a while. You can find by there their famous. Sorry. Okay, you can find there and buy there their famous pasalubong, which are the carabao product. Sorry, children, I think my connection is going a little slower. Okay. Okay, such as chicharabao there. Milk candy, garlic, longanisa, and of course, the one you mentioned earlier. Okay. Pansit batil patong. Okay. Pansit batil patong is loved by the people in the province of Tugigarao and other areas. And for now, many pansiterias there have their different versions of it already. Some, they serve it with egg drop, egg drop soup, and then different topics, uh, toppings, sorry, toppings. But what's more important, children, is that these places and these products are all meaningful and very important because they are part of the city's history, uh, the people's lives, and their livelihood. Okay, so let's look for more products here and then kindly tell us what type of mixture they are. Children, let's continue, okay? Uh, Fair here prepared for you some product which you need to identify based on its type of uh, type in terms of in terms of their appearance. Now look at this one, melted cacao balls. What is this? What is this mixture? What type of mixture is this one? May you please type one if you want to share your answer to the class. Type one, please. Is this one homogeneous or heterogeneous? Okay, Ellie. Yes, Ellie. Hello, ma'am. I think Hello. that is homogeneous. Okay, thank you. Homogeneous. Very good, Anna. Next one. What about it? Uh, turmeric drink. Anyway, Ellie, two points for you, ha? Huh? A turmeric drink. What is this one? Type one, if you want to share your answer. Homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? Yes, Euphronia. Homogeneous. Very good. Thank you, children. As I said, in our next lesson, you will get to know more about the more specific type of mixture. But for now, I am glad that you can classify them based on their appearance. All right. So, Fen, I would like to thank you, children, for joining us in this simple virtual trip. Okay. I want you to remember children, okay, our country, the Philippines, just like other countries have many beautiful places and meaningful products to learn about. So when the situation is better, I hope that we can explore Cagayan and other places of the Philippines, not just virtually. So you made Pe happy for she was able to share to you something valuable to her. What about you children? 
do you have a product or place in your community which you can share to the class today? It can be a place or maybe food or any product which you think you may share to the class today. Now, let me be the first one while you're thinking of an answer, okay? I have here, a, we are living in Caloocan City. And so one of the uh, famous places here is this one. If you're familiar with it. This is uh, Bonifacio Monument. We often call it as Monumento, okay? This one is meaningful for me because uh, this is a tribute to the father of the Philippine Revolution and our hero, Andres Bonifacio. And it is a challenge for myself to get to know more about this and promote uh, about this in my own ways. How about you children? Do you have anything there in your community which you can share to the class today? Type one, if you want to share to the class. Anyone? It can be food. If you have something famous there, product or a place in your community. Okay, Madeline, will you please share one, Anna? Teacher, here in Quezon Province, po, we have a uh, Pansit Hub Hub. Po. Wow, can you say what? something more about it? Yeah, I pang tinawag po siyang Hub Hub teacher kasi po. Usually, pag mabibili mo po siya, teacher, nasa plastic po, tapos sinahab-hab po siya pag kinakain. Oh, no okay. need to use po, ano, fork po. Ayun. Wow. Ah, thank you. That's a new Tapos po, teacher, thing. instead of calamansi po, you will put vinegar po on it. Ayun po. That's oh, all po, teacher. Thank you, Madeline. I'm giving you five points for that. That's so unique. And that's something new for me. Thank you. I'm really learning from you. Thank you, Anak. See, children, Madeline has something in their community she can share to us. What about Amiela? Anything you'd like to share? I'm here in our um, province, po, because we're living in an island, ma'am. Then we have this so-called product na binungay, which is a bamboo cake. So, it is, um, the ingredients are um, the malagkit the, at saka po yung, ano, yung um, coconut and salt and it is cooked. Um, wow. Inside the okay, wow. So that's, that's an example of mixture of miel, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Anything else you would like to share? That's it. Ano po siya, form of ano po siya, homo, homo din po siya, homogeneous. See, thank you, Amiela. Amiela did not just share something valuable to her, okay, something she's proud of. She also identified it based on our lesson. Thank you, Anna. Good job. Five points for that. Thank you. Last one, Yupronia. Okay. I was born in Pampanga, although I am residing in Manila na. Mm -hmm. Pero siyempre, alam ko kung yung mga kilalang product sa Pampanga, yung mga binibili nating mga longganisa, tusino, dyan kilala kasi ang Pampanga. At ang mga ano na yan, ang gumagawa niya ay talagang pamkila, yan ang kanilang number one na product na talagang dinadayo pa. Even the tourists, pag napunta dyan, bumibili sila niyan. Dahil kilala nga yung mga products nila yan sa Pampanga. That's yes. all. Thank, Thank you, you Yopronia. Five points. Yes, anak. And I totally agree with you. Because uh, we are here in, living here in Caloacan City. And I know the products of Pampanga. You're very, uh, the, that place is very famous for that. Thank you, anak. Yes. Welcome, thank you. You you're not just proud of the product itself, but the people creating it. Right? Thank you. I'm very happy with your responses. Ayan. Oh, Madeline corrected something she shared. Thank you, Anaka. Not plastic. Sometimes banana leaf for the pancit hub hub. Thank you, Madeline. That's something that I I find really interesting. Your sharings, all of your sharings are very interesting. Thank you, children. Okay, let's go to our next challenge. With that, children, have you had an experience in your life when you supported or promoted a product or place in your community? Have you experienced that? 
Have you had an experience like that? You supported or promoted a product or place in your community. Okay, you pro nya. Go on up. Okay, kanina nga sabi ko, yung sikat sa Pampanga yan. Mm. Kaya pagka nagpupunta kami dyan, nalabawa meron kami mga, kami mga field trip, sinasamahan ko sila dyan yes. at dyan pa sila namimili. Tagang pinopromote ko yan dahil meron akong kamag-anak dyan. Yan din ang business nila. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'm very really happy listening to you. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Thank you po. Thank you to anak. See, with that simple uh, simple way of promoting your product, you're even helping your relatives and the people in that place. Yes. Thank you. Thank you now. Thank you so much. How about the others? One more. Let's hear one more. Anyone else? Have you supported a product or place in your community? Okay, I, I think they're still preparing their answers. Okay, with that, children. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. This is connected to that question. In the future, maybe. Okay, how can you show your support to your community or of your communities or our country's products and places? How? Can you think of any other ways you can show your support to our communities and or your con our country's products and places? Type one if you want to share your answer. Oh yes, but oh yes. Let's hear you pronya first and then I will call Jean after. Are you pronya? Yes na. Okay, tuloy ko pa rin yung sa yes. Pampanga. No problem. Dahil talagang yan, kapag yan ay pin-remote mo, hindi lamang ang Pilipinas, kundi buong bansa. Talagang susuportahan nila yan. Pag pumunta sila riyan sa Pilipinas, talagang dadayuhin nila yung product natin. Yung makabebes, yung ating mga yes. iba't ibang product doon. Yes. Thank you. And in our sharing today, you're also already promoting your community anak. That's correct. Okay, and in okay. the future, I hope that you will continue with that love for your place. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Anna. Okay, thank you. Thank you, too. Oh, let's hear Jean. Jean. Yes, yeah. Mom. My answer is let's buy Filipino okay. products. Let's support our own products. Thank you, Anna. And you cannot prevent sometimes buying foreign ones but as much as possible if there are chances and you can let us buy our local products we are helping the people that thank you Anna. five points for you to jean okay nersita here has the same answer thank you Anna. thank you all right with your answers, I think you are ready for the final challenge of our class today. Children, complete this sentence test for me to see if you can still remember something out of our discussion. Let me read it for you first. Blank is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically combined. It can be blank or blank. Please tell us your answer for this challenge and then I'll give you five points. Complete these two sentences and then I will give you five points. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ellie this time. Ellie. I did not Hello, see the other answer. But Ellie, yes. Yes, Ellie. My answer is mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically combined. It can be heterogeneous or homogeneous. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically combined. Very good. Thank you, Ellie. Five recitation points for you. And those who shared the answer in the chat box, congratulations, children, and thank you so much. Now, I am very happy with our activities today and your responses for our activities. Please, children, do not forget to answer our exit activity for today. For our exit activity, all you have to do is to find a product you have at home, any product, but that product needs to be considered as a mixture. And then draw it on your notebook and then classify it as to homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Be ready to share it to our class next meeting because we will use that 
for us to know more about the other more specific types of mixtures. Thank you so much, children. Okay, mga kabibas, we will assume and pretend that this part was done already for us to be able to proceed to the short explanation part of this demo reel. Once again, thank you, teacher learners. Thank you. You made this demo reel possible because of your active participation. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Jodeline. And of course, thank you very much to our very active participants. It's really fun having our demo reel for this afternoon. Before we end our demo reel, do you have any questions for our speaker this afternoon? So our participants here in the Zoom meeting, do you have any questions for our speaker or our uh, watchers or viewers in the YouTube? If you have questions for our speaker, you may type it in our chat box. Or for our participants here in the Zoom meeting, you may type in our chat box as well. And you may unmute your microphones if you want to. Thank you, too. Thank you. All right, again, if you have any questions for our speaker for this afternoon, you may type it in our chat box or you may unmute your microphones. For our YouTube viewers, they don't have any questions. We uh, can read some greetings and gratitude for our speaker for this afternoon. They said that they learned a lot. Thank you for sharing your expertise. Thank you for the virtual tour experience. Something new for our teachers, I guess. So there's no questions here in our YouTube comment section. How about for our teachers here, here in the Zoom meeting? Do you have any questions for our speaker, Paul? All right. I think everything is very clear, Ms. Jodelin. Thank you very much for your very creative and refreshing demo reel for this afternoon. Thank you for, very much for that, Ma'am Euphronia. So that's uh, everything for, for our demo reel. Do you have any last reminders for our viewers today, Ma'am? Yes, Ma'am Jillian, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me today. Uh, for the last part of my presentation, let me just uh, remind you teachers that integrating or uh, promoting our local product, our local places, and integrating respect and diversity can be challenging really. The reason why I presented to you the virtual uh, field trip that way is because I want to show to you that it can be simple. You can use your PowerPoint presentation for that. And uh, you can use useful websites for that, such as the one I use, Google Earth, um, and any other helpful websites. You just need to give them credit, of course, to cite them correctly and give them proper credit and make reference for them, okay? Uh, and then all this integration and our intention to give more to our learners will really be challenging, yes. But our good intention to really serve them our uh, intention to serve our learners, our community, our country, uh, the world, and God will all be possible with our courage and careful planning at the, at the same time with our prioritization of our health and safety. So thank you so much, everyone. Stay healthy, happy, and full of love. Enjoy your weekend. There we have it. In behalf of Ibal Group Incorporated, I would like to thank our speaker for today for this indeed very refreshing, very interactive and fun demo teaching session. I'm sure our teachers did really enjoy a lot and learned a lot from our speaker. And of course, special thanks to our very active participants. So there's a lot of teachers trying to join our webinar, but thank you very much for our very active participants. Ma'am Amiela Joy Fernandez, Sir E.J. Dingus, Ma'am Eli Rosales, Ma'am Euphronia T. Francisco, Ma'am Pesi Pasigan, Ma'am Jean Alaika Nikdaw, Ma'am Corina, Ma'am Madeline Candice Simpson, 
Ma'am Narcita Gacoba, Ma'am Loretta Samson, and Ma'am Estrella G. Balaba. Thank you very much, teachers. You may download our speaker's pre presentation in our chat box. I've already posted it here. So again, thank you very much for participating and being here with us this afternoon. And to all our Kaviba viewers in our YouTube page, Thank you very much. All thanks to you for your continuous patronage to our daily learning session. Don't forget to register to get your e-certificate of participation. We also encourage you to, to watch and subscribe in our official Vivo mm. Facebook and YouTube channel. Again, thank mm. you very much, teachers. Thank you very much, Ma'am Jodeline. Maraming salamat at magandang araw sa ating lahat. Happy weekend, mga